Um, my name is Mike Halbach, and I'm a researching assistant at the German Aerospace Center at the Institute of Transportation Systems. And I have worked on this topic with my colleague, Kinyarik Eggers, in order of my researching work. Um, how the presentation structure looks like. Um, first of all, I want to present you a short motivation why we are working on this topic. Afterwards, I show you the basic functions of the corporate traffic light control and example usage of individual attributes for the control. Then I will highlight you the implementation of the corporate traffic light control in SUMO. And in the end, I show you the simulation scenarios which we use for the analysis and also the results. Um, today, uh, the motorized traffic is considered in the control with several kinds of detection. Um, this might be induction loops or radar or infrared detection to determine um, assignments of specific areas or time gap between headways. And this information uh, is able to use for a vehicle actuated traffic light control um, to find a perfect next phase or phase duration according to the actual traffic demand at the intersection. And um, today, um, the, the cyclists are not considered every time in the control. So uh, for that reason, the cyclist only could use uh, the green time of the motorized traffic as well. And um, if cyclists are considered in the control with detection, um, this is often established with a request button next to the stop line. So the cyclist could uh, request their desired phase to pass the intersection, but they have to stop for that. Um, also rarely used in traffic for bicycle consideration in the control is, uh, for example, also infrared or radar detection. But all three alternatives, so infrared, radar, and the request button, have the same disadvantage that is only possible um, to detect a cyclist on a specific position without um, additional information. And um, the driver behavior from a bicycle is magisterial dependent um, from the individual constitution of um, every cyclist. And for that reason, uh, we decided us to use the Futurnative V2i technology to um, detect cyclists um, at the intersection. So, um, yeah, and now it's possible yeah, to detect the cyclist at any position at the intersection with additional information. We decided us for a, a mobile device, and this mobile device might be a smartphone, smartwatch, or onboard computer of a, of a bicycle with an app implementation. And um, today it's common that uh, everybody has um, a mobile device in the pocket. So for that reason, it might be not a big deal to establish you know, this kind of control at the intersection. Um, yeah, um, how do the corporate traffic light control works? And um, like I said in the first uh, slide, uh, the mobile device is um, the base uh, for the corporate traffic light control. And with the aid of the mobile device, it is possible, possible to determine um, determine um, individual attributes of uh, each cyclist who is located at the intersection. Uh, one part of the individual attributes are the current attributes, like uh, the position, the speed, a specific route. And another part is the user behavior analyzes over the service life. So this uh, is uh, usual speed, maximum speed, route history, or for example, um, uh, common speed at a specific weather condition and much more parameters um, which are able to yeah, analyze over the service life. Um, the traffic light information is also available for the mobile device. And now uh, with the aid of the individual attributes and the traffic light information, uh, the mobile device um, could determine um, a required phase and uh, estimated arrival time to the stop line for the cyclist to pass the intersection. Um, now each mobile device sends these information uh, directly to the corporate traffic light control. Um, let's have a short look on the control system architecture. As you can see here, we establish the corporate traffic light control as a model. So that is possible to integrate this kind of model in uh, every traffic light control. So back to the corporate traffic light control. Now the corporate traffic light control analyzes 
um, and recap the whole um, V2I data about the cyclists and um, um, send uh, the results. So phase requests and required phase durations um, to the common traffic light control. And now this information will be integrated and used in the common traffic light control decision logic. Um, thus, the common traffic light control gets additionally to the induction loop data of the motorized traffic, the V2I data about the cyclists. And now the cyclists are considered equally to the motorized traffic in the traffic light control. And do the traffic light control has defined a certain next phase or phase transition to that? Um, the switching times will be sent back from the traffic light control to the mobile device. And now the mobile device is able to uh, give the cyclist speed recommendations um, regarding to the switching times. And here you can see that the cyclist provides information about the current state for the traffic light control, but also gets information back from the traffic light control. For that reason, we call it our novel control corporate traffic light control. Um, yes, what is the benefit of using individual attributes in the control? Let's have a look on, a, um, on an example of a phase request based on individual, individual attributes and using a mobile device. Um, like I said in, a pre, in, in the first slide, um, um, yeah, common detection like a request button or radar only detect cyclists on a, a specific position without additional information like um, yeah, pace, etc. And um, here uh, at the use case with a face request, the mobile device shows the whole potential about itself. Um, if we look at two cup V2I cup able cyclists with different speeds, so one with five meter per second pace and another with three meter seconds pace, and the black arrow represents here face request. You can see that the faster cyclist do the request at a huge distance than the slower one does the request because due to the mobile device, it's possible to, the, um, to request the face at any position in front of the stop line and um, the request can be also adjusted perfectly to the individual attributes, in this case, and um, to the speed of each cyclist. And another example is uh, the use, using the routes for the uh, face request. Um, for example, the route information of every cyclist could be uh, disposited in the navigation. And when now uh, cyclists achieve the intersection, it is possible for the control um, that the control only use um, um, cyclist information with, with a route through the intersection. In this case, the second cyclist turns right in front of the intersection and do not have to consider for the traffic light control anymore. So uh, the um, mobile device of the second cyclist do not send a face request for the signal here in front of the intersection. Yes, these were two um, yeah, examples of uh, using individual attributes. Uh, let's have a look off, uh, to the implementation in Sumo. And um, first we established a Sumo network in a Sumo simulation. And then we coupled the Sumo simulation via Tracy with a Python script. And uh, in the Python script, we established a vehicle actuated traffic light control, which is able to get detection data um, uh, out of the um, simulation and um, yeah, gets the demand at the intersection. And the traffic light control is also able to influence the traffic lights in the simulation. So this setting was basically the actual control. And um, to analyze and develop our novel control, we established a corporate traffic light control model. And this model um, uh, this model is able to get the V2I data about the cyclist, recap and analyzes all this data and uh, commit the results to the traffic light control. And we established a uh, cyclist influence. This uh, influence is uh, able to uh, give the bicycles uh, speed recommendations regarding to the V2I data of the bicycles and uh, the switching times of the traffic light control. Um, yeah, for the simulation scenario, we decided us to use the uh, real researching intersection Toastmannplatz in Braunschweig. Um, here you can see a picture out of the simulation from this intersection. We established a sumo network about this intersection with the whole infrastructure. 
And um, here the cyclists drive on own infrastructure with separate signals. And for the analysis of our novel control, we established two scenarios. Um, the first scenario is the actual uh, vehicle actuated traffic light control. And the second scenario is the actual control with the corporate traffic light control model integration. And now it's possible um, to compare um, yeah, the both uh, scenarios and analyze our new model. Um, Actually, have, sorry, you have five minutes remaining. We went, okay, perfect. Um, yeah, um, to show what, what the control does, um, we colored in the simulations, um, the cyclist uh, with a specific uh, color regarding to an operating function of the control. And I prepared a little video for you that you can see um, how the uh, control works. And um, first I will describe what's going on in the video. And then I will start the video. Mm. First, you will see, a cyclist coming out of the east. Um, she turning right in front of the intersection and is colored light blue and do not have to consider it for the control anymore. And then two more cyclists will come. First, one out of the um, south uh, heaved intersection and one out of the east. And both of them are colored green because they get a speed recommendation to slow down. And they also require their desired phase. Um, I will start the video. Um, first, you will see here the cyclist who is not considered. And then another one out of the south, uh, catch the signal perfectly. And another one out of the east. He is first uh, dark blue. And when he uh, um, changes to green, he slows down a little bit and catch the face or the signal perfectly. So uh, one more information uh, for the simulation scenario. Here um, in the blue table, you can see the um, detection um, implementation uh, for the two different scenarios, subclassified in the main direction and the side direction. And um, they're related to the traffic mode, so motorized traffic and the bicycles. And here you can see that in the second scenario with the corporate traffic light control model integration, um, the bicycles are considered equally um, to the motorized traffic in the control. So that are the results. Um, we simulated uh, that's the comparison of the uh, of the um, actual control with the novel corporate traffic light control, and we simulated 18 periods in a row, each 10 minutes, with a moderate motorized traffic demand and a bicycle demand, which is a higher like the existing. So they are around about 160 cyclists per hour in the main direction, and you can see that uh, the average. Um, Average of waiting time stop number decrease and improve with the corporate traffic light control while nearly stabilizing the, de the average of delay of the cyclist. Um, therefore, the novel control um, enhance the comfort for the tra for the cyclist uh, while marginally enhancing the motorized traffic. So you can see that um, um, the values of the motorized traffic decrease uh, minimal. Yes, um, so the first simulation shows uh, that um, yeah, the, integ uh, the integration of the corporate traffic light control have, has a benefit for both traffic modes, so bicycles and the motorized traffic. And in the end of this year, we want to establish the corporate traffic light control at the real researching intersection Toastmannplatz in Braunschweig. So um, yeah, our main target is to show um, that is um, yeah, possible to integrate this kind of new V2I-based uh, control at a real uh, traffic light in the reality. Um, yes, thank you for your attention. And I will be here uh, yeah, to answer your questions or yeah, when you have questions. Thank you very much.